Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. Well, we're on the road again, hauling the trailer. My daughter Gray and I are on the hunt for more swine. Yep, more swine, swine. This time we're headed about an hour and a half northeast of the farm, whereas last time we went west. So it's good to see the country. This, like most places in New York, it's dairy country. Lots of dairy farms, both big and small. I'd put this one, well, it's on the medium size. There's a farm store. Farm. Farm. Guns. Solar panels. Farm. Farm. Farmhouse. Valley. Farm. Little town. You want to stop at the Truxton Liquor Store, Gray? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they have anything I would like there. Might make the trip shorter <laughs> when we wind up in the ditch 15 minutes down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Around here is in a lot of parts of the country. The small family farms are suffering, so you'll see buildings that aren't kept up, need a new roof, need a paint, coat of paint. And it's the big dairies, the big CAFO dairies that have thousands ahead that have all the shiny equipment and new buildings. And the family farms are just trying to get by, you know? without doing a lot of that kind of deferred maintenance. It's different from when I was a kid, that's for sure. But the country sure is beautiful. Rolling hills and valleys. Farm. Farm. Church. Farm. Hey, there's some snow out here still. farm. Cemetery. Hmm. Cows. Here's a place. It's a long, narrow uphill driveway, which doubles as a stream when it rains. We got some cattle over here. This is Sean. How you doing? And his wife Jenny. And Sean emailed me about a week ago and said, Well, I have a boar that I'm looking to move to a new home. I don't want to see him go to the butcher. And I said at first, oh, I'm I'm growing out a new one. But then I got to thinking about it a little bit more and thought, well, geez, this is a good fit. Sean served in the Marines for five years. Corporal? Yes. Working on aircraft. Uh, working on aircraft? Yep, Harriers. That's pretty cool. They're the jump jets, right? Yeah, they go straight up when they take off and then go from there. Yeah. 0 0.001 miles per gallon. Yeah. It's <laughs> pretty fuel efficient. <laughs> and this is the boar. Sean says he's half Hampshire. Half Hampshire, half Berkshire. And half Berkshire. And I saw a photo of him with colors a little muddy now. And he has really nice colors, dark browns and blacks. So this is what we got here. We got boar, and he's with a couple other ones. You gotta get them into there, and then from there, into the trailer. And uh, I've done this before. Sometimes it can really not be much fun, especially considering he's kind of nervous. He knows something's up. I mean, there's lots of goodies in here. What more could a pig want? Eggs, carrots, grain? Yogurt, huh? all I mean Yogurt? <laughs> Pumpkin spice yogurt of all things. <laughs> oh! He just needs to be convinced. Yeah. Well, yeah, some of the other ones were, I mean, they were getting close, but that's where the line usually is, you know? The yeah, pigs always remember where that zap is. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, turkey's got to come and see what's going on, too. <laughs> were there four before Thanksgiving? Uh, we had 25. Oh. We butchered uh, <laughs> most of them, but. Look at how broad his shoulders are. I mean, he is nervous. Yeah, we're taking you to a good place, bud. All right, we got the trailer set up, opened up here, doors braced. We're gonna try our luck. Yeah, yeah. well, it's okay. It's okay. Come on. Turn it, buddy. You're all right. You're all right. I ain't gonna get close to him without. 
I'd rather have a shovel in my hand. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Come on. I don't want to get bit. I don't know you very well. Come on. Let's go, bud. It's okay. Come on. Oh, you're going to sit down. I'll sit down, strike. We'll try again. Come on, JJ. Come on, bud. Let's go. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, buddy. Come on, bud. Come on. He was singled out in this little section, but. Yeah, I'd get him up in. It, two pieces of plywood would be ideal, and then we could just kind of walk them in. Yeah. If they can't see through it, then they're better off. It's going to be all right, buddy. You just got to climb in. It's going. Solid barrier. <laughs> He's in. He's thinking about it. Is there a chicken in there? There's a chicken in there. <laughs> now he decides he's just going to have a snack. All right, buddy. Come in. Um, you want me to go first? Or yeah, or that there? side's better off, better blocked. Come on. What did it? You gotta turn yourself around here. Go ahead. I wish we could smell this. Come on. Get behind that piece of plywood. Get in the chute. You're okay, Jason. Hey, hey, come on. Come on. Go. Well, we all had to hustle and turn the camera <laughs> off to get the door closed, but he's in there. I remember these days when we started farming, having to load pigs through improvised things. That's not the easiest. He's going to get practice now and then, you know? <laughs> well, we got him in the front. He's not happy, but that's the way it goes. Wow, he is a giant board. You see the shoulders on him? Holy. He's a unit. <laughs> Absolute unit. <laughs> He's a unit. <laughs> they sure were nice people, you know, taking the time to set all that up and helping us out. It's great to meet them. Gray and I made it home safely, so now comes part two of this endeavor. Did you see that big guy? He is a big guy. He's a mega chunk. We gotta do some moving around in here. The first thing we gotta do is run Miss Brownie into a different pen, cause he's gonna go in here. Are you ready to move Brownie? I would say you are. Alrighty. Come on lady. You know where to go. There you go. You can waddle right over into this another pen. We didn't really want to put the bore into this pen with this gate. Brownie will be fine in here. You're going to have a new neighbor, Red. You are. A new boar to get to know. You know, I just need to know about that south side if I'm okay. How far away from it am I? You're pretty close. Gotta keep coming this way. Step. 
All right, here we go. We have the muscle. <laughs> We've got the trailer in place. Plywood blocked off there. Pigs always need a solid surface to block them from going. We got an old door from the house. <laughs> they used to be in the house anyway. And then we're just going to go right into this. And there's the bait. Shouldn't be too bad. Famous last words, right? That door blocks that way. Just right through into there. And up we go. All right, bud. You gotta get up, JJ. I know it's nap time, but you know, you got a new home to go to. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You can get up. Come on. Come on. There we go, buddy. You can climb right off here. Now you gotta go this way. There you go, go toward the light. Well, there's another pig for you to meet. Oh, there you go, right in. Perfect, bud. And you get the reward. Well, that was about as easy as it can be. Hey, big bud. He's definitely a boar. And I think he's among the most desired breed for us. Hereford and Berkshire Cross, both his parents were purebred according to the folks we got them from. I think that's yeah. that be some awful nice yeah. piglets. Yeah. So pretty soon you're gonna have to get busy, Brownie. It's about time to get you guys bred. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We'll be getting to know each other much closer very soon. Yes, Red, I brought you a new boyfriend. Let's get you some more bedding, bud. After you're done with dinner, you can spread that all around. This was unexpected. This was not my plan, but two things made this a really good decision. Number one, the boar was free. Well, he was offered for free, but I, I paid Sean for the boar. It was, he's, he's a nice boar, he's, he's worth money. And number two, we won't have to buy feeder piglets this spring. We're gonna put them right in after he settles for a couple days and gets used to his surroundings and calm down, put him in with red and then with brownie, get them both bred, and they'll be having piglets. Beginning at, of April. Yeah, beginning so of April. That is perfect timing. That's yeah, just is. when we want them bred. So instead of buying, you know, $1,000 or more worth of feeder piglets, we're going to be selling some <laughs> feeder piglets because the two of those sows will produce more than we yeah, need. Yeah, I think so. It's, it's a good financial decision from all fronts. And now once little Billy grows out, we'll have two boars. And yeah. as you know, with cattle, once you have two males, you have kind of tenfold genetic um, choice as yeah. far as yeah, generational do. breeding. So that's that. And the last thing is that John is gone. He's been gone for five days now. And here's how it worked out. John didn't do that well in the winter last year. You know, just like folks, people, when animals get old, aches and pains are their worst when it gets cold out. And then we had that stretch last week of cold weather, of mm -hmm. nights in the teens and yeah. highs in the 30s during the day. And I came out here one morning because my plan was to keep John with Brownie for a month. And he wasn't doing anything. He was just laying around. But anyway, I came out on a cold morning and John was struggling. He was kind of working his front feet like he was trying to move and he wasn't moving and it was clear that he wasn't doing well. So we went back in and ate breakfast and then came out and looked at him again and I tried to get him up and he wouldn't get up and he's old. He's really old for a boar. Yeah. So at that point we made the decision that it was better to end his suffering and put him down then have him continue that way and so that's what i did and it's never an easy thing to do no no it isn't but after you do it it's kind of relief because you know that that animal's not suffering anymore it's a, I, such things yeah. get to be a little sensitive i guess to talk about to a hundred thousand people i can't <laughs> 
Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you have anything to say about it, Hal. Uh, well, you know, it just is what it is. And, you know, I think we did good by him, and he had a good life with us. And, you know, we took good care of him. He was... And he gave us hundreds of piglets. Yeah, he hundreds. Did. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he did. He was pretty old and had a lot he of litters. Was a good boy. He was a good guy. So that's the way it is. Life moves on. Now we've got our breeding stock replenished and we're headed for the future. I'm looking for more purebred breeding stock coming in the spring at the next kind of big farrowing time. And we're still talking about building our new pig facility and it's it's gonna be exciting, I think. And yeah, yeah. we're off to a good start with this boar. He looks like he's got a really good build and yeah. really good background to me. Can't wait to see what the piglets look like. <laughs> anyway, that's our video. <laughs> They're back again, once again. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time. Yep, yeah, we'll we see you next time. <laughs>